Ladies and gentlemen, is it possible to win a game in Battles 2 without sending a single balloon? Well, we're going to be finding just that out with today's video. So when I say not a single balloon, I mean literally no balloons whatsoever, no rushing with DDTs, ZOMGs, or even the deadly red balloon. So without further ado, let's see if we can pull this off and let's see if we can win. So we got the map Oasis. And again, our strategy is going to be open. Druid, farm, sub, and it looks like our opponent's hero is going to be Biker Bones, so let's freaking get it. And it looks like our opponent is going to be starting off with the Bomb Shooter as their first popping power tower, whereas we're going to be starting off with the good old Druid, and I know I'm sorry for abusing meta, but desperate times call for desperate measures, ladies and gentlemen, all right? And there we go for Oban as well before the start of round two. I'm not even sure if this is the right spot. I would have to say so, though, all right? Because once we get his totem, it's going to be directly in front of this Druid right here, aka our druid is going to be super super op for us all right but as most of you already do know judging off the intro for today's video we are trying to win a game without sending a single balloon at our opponent all right and that includes rushing as well so i can't rush my opponent with like a bad oh my god bro i could have went for a banana farm by the way before the start of this round that is kind of crucial actually too dang it okay it's fine it's fine and i can also go for brambles kind of forgot about that too not out to the greatest start ladies and gentlemen all right but we will in fact bounce back let's go for the brambles right there as well we want to target the brambles more towards the back of the map you know what though i'm gonna purposely leak some lives right here though all right oh my god he's also using farm no way dude we got a little sweat cam for today's game all right because this guy he had a mod pit badge and stuff and we're also in a casual game for today's video all right because ain't no way that i could pull this off in a hollow masters game because i would just absolutely get wiped you need to eco when farming because having a substantial amount of eco actually quite significantly can help out your farm game all right but as i was saying we can't even rush our opponent with like a bad ddt nothing of the sort so we've got to make sure that we can just defend against whatever he eventually ends up rushing us with all right we want this guy to ideally either die to ai or just straight up surrender okay one of the two will definitely work but it's gonna be very hard to take this guy down because he is just absolutely greeting and there's nothing that i can do about it like i'm not gonna send this guy a singular rush once again man so f's in the chat i guess for us oh wait he went for the cluster bomb okay so yeah see like with rushing too with just like simply space whites right now that forces upgrades on my opponent's side thus he puts money into his defenses rather than his farms you know so like that could greatly significantly help us out and by the way we're going to go for a harder thunder here i'm gonna purposely leak some lives here Ooh, oh my god don't die don't die that was not the goal okay so i over leaked there a little bit because we're down to 34 lives now but i wanted to get that full increase of attack speed of course uh with using the shooter right because we went for the heart of vengeance and in case you don't know for every life that you leak after going for the heart of vengeance you get an increase of attack speed by one percent and it maxes at a hundred percent and it starts off at 20. so that means you need to leak 80 lives thus down to 70. so we over leaked a little bit but i i guess it's fine okay the good thing is we got our first banana plantation rolling so that of course is awesome and i hope this guy is a bit more aggressive towards us by the way during the mid game rounds and stuff because I don't know it will just be fun to defend against things i guess uh but we're gonna make sure then that we do not over greed when it comes to our farm game here all right so let's go for our next banana plantation all right so he's gonna send space zebras here so that means we have to go for druid of wrath here so let's go for that now perfect easy easy class for us ladies and gentlemen let's go for the value of bananas upgrade two here as well a little bit risky but uh hopefully we'll be fine I'm gonna go I don't even know like where the reactor is really really good I'm just gonna say like right here right directly in the center I'm not sure if we're gonna go for a ballistic or not maybe if we just go for reactor okay wait his final tower is the mortar that's good that's very very good all right so let's de camo at least here as well uh he might send us a probe rush zero rush anything no nothing so do we dare then go for another banana farm I guess so let's do it let's freaking do it i'm gonna upgrade to the bottom path upgrades though because if you go for the banana salvage upgrade specifically we get that increased sell back value in case we need to sell it quickly to go for something but it looks like he is not going to rush us right oh wait oh sorry almost threw that um <laughs> I, I had enough money i realized right there i was about to sell my banana farm but one for the barb darts didn't necessarily need that but if we go middle path once again then we could pop lead balloons okay so I don't know. Oh my God, why did I do that? Oh my God, I'm selling. I'm selling so hard. I went for a freaking banana plantation. 
Oh my god, that hurts. That really hurts my soul. I can't believe I did that. Alright, so mistake on my behalf, but it's fine. I meant to go for a 203 marketplace instead. So yeah, again, that is just a mess up on my behalf, but hopefully it won't hurt us all that much. I'll eventually sell it to replace it with the central market, but I guess for now, well, we're just going to keep it. Maybe, you know what? We'll go over this marketplace right here. And then once we have almost, what, $9,000, we'll sell this to go for the uh, central market on this marketplace right here, right? Hopefully that kind of made sense. I'm not too sure. But also at the same time, got to watch out. It's round 16 right here, right now. So that means that this guy could easily send us a mob class balloon rush. What is he going for? Is he going to go for a banana research facility? Wait, why is he laughing? Okay. Yeah, that's what he's going for. Fair. That's fine with me. Go for whatever you desire, my friend, okay? But like I said, he could send us mob class balloons right now. What did he just go for? Oh, okay. Maybe he upgraded his farm wrong. I'm not too sure. But normal mobs we should be fine against. I mean, like, with our current setup, no. We're going to need a ballistic missile or maybe two. But if he sends four to five mobs, I might even go for trees. Level 10 ability on Oban because that wouldn't be too bad of an idea in my opinion, okay? So like I said, once we have around, like, 8.8k to be exact... Uh, we should be able to sell this in order to go for the central market all right so about to sell this here now sell you perfect you know what i might buy trees here too um on round 19 place some more towards the front of the map so that we can get even more money out of them so yeah we're definitely gonna do that only 920 dollars target them more towards the front of the map use that perfect okay and then let's retarget this back here awesome okay so we're gonna get some money out of these trees which will help our banana farm game out because here on round 20, I'm sure most of you already do know this, but all the bananas from the banana farms immediately spawn uh, because the round is just so short since it's only one AI mod that we have to worry about, okay? So looks like we didn't have enough money though to go for the uh, central market or anything just yet. All right, so we're gonna make sure that we can defend against this too. Let's go for ballistic. All right, oh, we got brambles, bro. We didn't even need to go for that. F's in the chat. Oh my God, wait, he went for a pop and off? All right, fair play. He was able to defend. Well, well done. So, yeah, we've got to go for the central market here as early as freaking possible. We're still not even able to go for this, though. We need $20,000 now in order to go for this. He's about to go for his. Oh, my God. Wait, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. <laughs> he's laughing, too. Oh, F's in the chat for him. Okay, so he's going to be fine. Bro, please don't die, though. Actually, wait, no. It doesn't really matter if he dies. Okay, so, dude, the fact that he was not able to pull that off that is such a rip for him okay so if we sell both of these we can sell these for about four thousand no we can't even pull out the monkey wall street still guys like i said we need around like twenty thousand dollars in order to go for that so maybe here on round 23 fortified ceramics within the ai trees ability is about to come back to here as well so we're about to use that let's use that now oh i went for that in the back of the map shoot no wait oh he's dead no way oh my oh bruh <laughs> No way, this guy just died around 23 AI. All right, so we got a win under our belt, but I was hoping to go a little bit later, and I was hoping for a little bit more of an aggressive opponent, all right? So I will catch y'all in the next one. So this time around, our opponent's going to be starting off with two wizards as their first pop power tires, whereas we, again, are going to be starting off with the good old Heart of Vengeance Druid and also Oban, all right? We were also able to place him down before the start of round two, which is super, super ideal. Let's go for our first banana farm two this time before the start of round three because then that means we get an extra banana out of going for that all right and let's buy brambles immediately let's go more towards the back of the map to target those now we still have yet though to leak down a single life okay so that means we have currently no increase of attack speed which is no bueno but every time that we use a brambles ability the next brambles is a little bit stronger okay so we're gonna make sure that we still end up using that let's go for the greater production here as well i was hoping that this guy would be uh sending me eco at least all right because i cannot tell you guys how many players in casual mode simply don't even send eco it is honestly insane but also at the same time i don't even think it's necessarily their fault it's just the lack of a good tutorial in this game all right because imagine if you're brand new to btd there are so many different things that you need to learn it's honestly very very overwhelming like you need to learn about synergies what strategies work what strategies don't how to defend against a zomg ddt how to eco how to farm there's just so much that goes in this game really when you truly think about it all right and the tutorials that are currently in the game really don't do a good job of teaching a brand new player 
on how to like effectively rush eco just play the game in general you know so not shocking to me that a lot of casual players just don't know what the heck they're doing but we're gonna end up going for the heart of vengeance here in a second uh because we want that full increase of attack speed so yeah let's go for that now because i think we just got it yep okay overleaped a bit i wanted to stop at 69 lives but it's fine let's go for brambles once again you know what we probably could have went for the druid of wrath here i think because totem's right here um the druid of wrath would have been fine with just the hard thorns upgrade but i guess i'd rather play this a little bit safer than sorry he's not even sending me any space whites though so we probably would have been fine with that it it's fine though so this game went just like the last where my opponent just never ended up rushing us during the mid game rounds unfortunately this is the harsh reality of casual mode in btd battles 2 but let's get to the part where i was able to go for the monkey wall street all right we're just barely about to have enough money here by the way oh wait okay boom easy not even close not even close not even close go for that all right probably gonna have to go for ballistic here too let's just go for that just to be safe and let's hope and pray that we can defend defend that come on come on come on fortified ceramics are no joke let's use a brambles right there all right we're good we're good we pulled off the monkey wall street ladies and gentlemen i actually thought that would be nearly impossible for us but look at us boys we were able to pull it off with ease okay so technically we don't even need this ballistic here anymore i know this reactor spot is pretty mid but it's whatever okay so once we have enough money to go for this uh banana research facility we're gonna sell this in order to do so you'd also probably just go for trees again oh okay trees in the more in the back of the map that actually works out for around 26 ddt's okay i was gonna just put it directly in the middle once again but uh, again i guess that just works out let's sell you go for that perfect and then at the start of round 25 we're going to get ten thousand dollars and then we're going to sell this into going for a banana central because i don't know if we need to keep this any longer and i think banana central is going to be the much better route for us so there we go for that trees can eat that mob up for us let's get this farm back going come on all right let's hope trees can eat that up because i've got like no money right now please eat that up trees okay good 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 i need to go for some ballistics or something because this is just getting a little bit too sketch for us so our trees have been getting eaten up quite a bit here so that means our trees probably can't even tank a single ddt for us and that is not good okay because we just don't have enough money to go for the superstorm just yet i guess we'll micro um a first strike ability if we need to do that and let's see he stopped ecoing no he's not gonna send ddts even oh my god dude these are the most passive players of all time but i guess i'm even more passive since i have yet to send a singular balloon but i'm gonna go for this super storm as far down as possible so like right about here perfect well this will be our eventual super storm of course let's go for a research facility as well since he's not rushing us let's start at least though going for like a ball lightning just to kind of have that send stone you know i'm gonna use a trees ability here too let's collect that money dude he's just not gonna rush us you've got to be kidding me and now it's round 28 all right so we were able to fit five farms too by the way over on this side which is really really awesome because again every single farm spot does in fact count no way that he never rushes us right there's just no way he's got benjamin too as his hero i kind of forgot about that so even if he happened to leak down he, he would have been fine right so it looks like the ai mods and stuff they're starting to push a little bit more than my liking so we're gonna have to watch out in that regard but we were able to defend against that did we just go for like another ballistic here yeah i say we just go for another one of those so let's go for that airburst starts too as well and let's get to send now down farms on the left side and we have another trees ability so let's use that collect that money perfect and i'm gonna sell you sell you oh no i wanted to have enough money you know what we're just gonna first strike this by the way first strike you perfect get that out of here and we're not gonna go for superstorm yet we're not gonna do it just yet ladies and gentlemen uh yeah let's just go for this ballistic again let's go for another one down here by the way i probably should have just kept the ballistics i was trying to get up um oh my god wait this ai is starting to get a lot harder though we might actually just should we just go for superstorm yeah let's just go for superstorm okay i know i know it's kind of dumb but dude i had three ballistics on the map and they were barely doing any damage so we know for a fact with superstorm we're gonna be fine and at any point in time this guy could rush us with ddt's and just ruin our hopes and dreams all right so i guess i'd rather play this a little bit safer than sorry and yeah dude four to five mobs here on round 31 this would be even harder for our ballistic missiles to pop all down so yeah i think the uh superstorm play here was the play all right so it's round 33 this guy still has yet to rush us by the way so it looks like we're gonna have to go 
for the freaking spirit of the forest which again is just very very unfortunate but this uh farm right here this is going to be upgraded to a 025 the reason being i think the bottom cross path is a little bit better to have that increase of sellback value in case we do need to sell it um from what i've heard from the uh hollow master slaves and stuff you know so we're just gonna go with that let's go for a populous buff right here as well we want to make sure that our superstorm specifically has that full increase of populous buffs nearby right or else it's going to just Died at EDTs, and that would be super anticlimactic. So let's make sure that we do that. Let's collect this 20k bounce as well. Bro, we've got money coming in left and right, boys. This is crazy. We're going to have to go for the Spirit of the Force. This guy, he, he's not rushing us, boys. I kind of saw this coming, that my opponent would just simply not rush us since we are in casual, but it, it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so we're going to go top path on this. Not sure if that is the better cross path either, but nonetheless, we're going to be doing that. And, I mean, I guess we're just going to chill. I mean, we can just go for, like, whatever the heck we want. I feel like I can't defend all the way up until round 50, if I'm being completely honest. But he can't either, right? Oh, no, he's got the super monkey. Oh, my God. This is final tower, guys. Okay, wait. We might <laughs> literally lose this. Because the super monkey, of course, is the best late game tower of them all. It does require a lot of money. So, maybe he's not going to have that much. But he is currently sending us cons and purple ecos. So... I don't know. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But our increase of attack speed on this druid here is going to go by bio, right? And here comes the round 40 ZOMG. Of course, with us having the Superstorm, we're going to be fine. We don't have that full increase of Poplus buff on it, though. Because, literally, I have no room to go for any more Poplus whatsoever. So, like, that, of course, kind of sucks. I'm not sure what the best cross path is uh, for the sub commander. All right, I had to look that up real quick. All right, so I looked it up. Better cross path is going to be the top path for us, right? Which kind of makes sense because AP darts, that normally is the best cross path. So let's go upgrade all of these to the 204s. Bro, I hope he dies to AI. Like, should we just send him a rush? Like, if he never decides to send us a rush? Because, I mean, are we just going to sit on all this money and not do a single thing with it? You know, that's kind of boring. I don't know, though. But I also went for a preemptive strike, by the way, because preemptive strike is, in fact, pretty goaded, if you do ask me. And you know what? I might even sell off a of farm. I'm not too sure yet, because, like, at this point, money doesn't even matter. I could go for some more populace, though, around the map, um, although they don't do much. It's better than having nothing. Got to watch out. Ooh, DDT's here. Is he fine, too? He is, in fact. Superstorm, please don't whiff. Superstorm, please don't whiff. I could also first strike. First strike and wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Dude, look at the Superstorm. Oh my, those DDTs are so quick. They're so quick, guys. Okay, so we have probably then... We, we got to sell a farm here, okay? We need that full increase of attack speed on this Superstorm just to really, really be safe, you know? So there we go with that. I'm going to go for some more pop plus. Like I said, it's already round freaking 46, okay? But take a look at his side, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all of those ZOMGs. It's only going to be getting harder from here on out. So he actually might die to AI. All right, it's round 48. So this is actually round 96 AI in BCD6, in case you guys don't know. So pretty much all you have to do is multiply the round that we're currently on in Battles 2 by times 2. And then that's the AI for BCD6, in case you guys did not know that. But we're going to go for more pop plus. I mean, we're doing pretty good so far. I, at least it looks like it, right? I'm not sure if we're actually doing good because, again, this Superstorm is just constantly pushing back everything. We could be using the uh, First Strike ability. I kind of forgot about that, but I guess it looks like we don't actually need to do so, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Dude, no way. I've got to rush him, right? Like, I, I know the point of the video is not to rush him, but... Bro, we're not going to go all the way to round 50 and just draw against this guy. Because it's about to be, yeah, it's round 49 here. So if he defends this, then he's good, right? I mean, he could struggle theoretically then to a BAD. Uh, we also could too as well. We got to make sure that we can pop off that lair in the first place, you know? Oh, it looks like we have enough room for a sub, but actually we do not. Oh my god, wait! Wait! Wait, 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 wait! It's starting to overrun him. He's going to send us a BAD! He's sending us a BAD! Oh my god, okay, we got to make sure that we can defend. We got to make sure that we can defend. Okay, tower boost? First strike? Bro, we're dead. We're actually dead. Should we balloon boost, maybe? I don't know if that's actually going to do anything over on his side. Bro, he's so close to dying. He's actually so close to dying. No, we can't defend this. They're, we're not even going to come close to defending this, guys. And I went for so many pop plus. Okay, we've got to all out with DDTs, right? Because, dude, I'm not dying. No, I'm not dying. I'm going to send him, like, literally 700k of DDTs. Oh, my God. He can just use Tech Terrors. Please, 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 please die. Please die. Please get overran. Please get overran. I don't even care. Don't even care. Did we get the win? Yes, we did. 
I don't even care, bro. He didn't even send me a rush the entire game, bro. These casual players are just built freaking different, bro. They refuse, absolutely refuse to rush you until they're quite literally forced to rush you, okay? But yeah, round freaking 49 BADs, there is just no way that we would have been remotely close to defending that. So I thought, why not counter DDT? So I guess GG. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where these super upgrade combinations need a nerf. Yes, it is Super Monkey Village Ice, by the way, is the strategy. It is incredibly goaded. So if you have yet to check it out, go make sure to watch the video right now.